3i Atlas showed a sudden and noticeable increase in brightness, first detected by amateur astronomers and later confirmed by professional observatories. Multiple independent data logs recorded the same rapid rise, which rules out equipment error. Because the change was both fast and unexpected, researchers are currently reviewing these observations to understand what triggered it. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear outline of what changed, what has been confirmed, and what is still under evaluation. If you'd like to follow how this develops, consider subscribing and sharing your perspective below. Now, let's look at what was observed before and after this brightness shift. The first notable change in 3i Atlas was a sudden, non-gradual rise in brightness. The increase did not develop slowly over time, as is commonly observed when comets reflect more sunlight while heating. Instead, the change occurred within a narrow observational window and appeared as a sharp upward step in the photometric data. Amateur astronomers monitoring the object recorded this shift while conducting routine brightness measurements. Their instruments showed a clear jump in magnitude that remained steady for several minutes before returning to a stable level. To confirm the accuracy of this observation, the original observers compared their data across different capture settings, exposure durations, and calibration references. They also reviewed local atmospheric conditions to rule out distortion caused by weather. After confirming internal consistency, they shared the results in observational forums where additional astronomers, located in separate regions and using unrelated setups, reported the same brightness pattern. The agreement between independent data sources indicated that the event was not caused by local interference, processing errors, or sensor noise. Shortly after these independent confirmations, professional observatories began reviewing the event through higher precision photometric instruments. These included telescopes equipped with standardized calibration sequences designed to detect and correct for observational artifacts. The professional data matched the amateur logs in both timing and intensity. In addition, star field reference checks showed no unexpected fluctuations in control objects observed during the same sessions. This confirmed that the surge was not the result of equipment malfunction or incorrect exposure correction. Data networks that automatically archive brightness curves across global observation programs also displayed the same temporary rise. The global consistency of timestamps and magnitude values strengthens the conclusion that the event was real, externally sourced, and not tied to a specific observing environment. The brightness increase was therefore categorized as a confirmed short-duration photometric event. This brightness shift didn't happen in isolation. Shortly afterward, another measurable change appeared this time in motion. Following the confirmed brightness event, researchers began reviewing the recorded position and motion data of 3i Atlas. The object's trajectory had already been well established through previous observations, allowing for accurate predictions of its expected path. When new tracking measurements were compared to these earlier projections, a slight but consistent deviation was identified. This deviation was small in scale, but it continued across multiple observation sessions and appeared in both amateur and institutional datasets. The first indications of the change came from standard astrometric logging, where the calculated position of the object differed marginally from predicted coordinates. At first, this difference fell within the normal range of observational variation. However, as additional data points accumulated, the shift formed a clear directional trend rather than random scatter. Updating the orbital model showed a measurable non-gravitational component affecting the object's motion. Non-gravitational acceleration in small bodies is not unusual and is most commonly attributed to outgassing, where jets of gas expelled from a surface act as a natural thruster. But in this case, the observed deviation did not fully match the distribution or magnitude expected from standard outgassing models. If a comet releases gas uniformly or in diffuse bursts, the acceleration pattern is typically uneven and short-lived. Instead, the motion of 3i Atlas displayed a stable and repeated adjustment, indicating a sustained force rather than a brief or irregular venting process. Professional tracking teams applied existing models used for known interstellar and solar system comets to evaluate the motion profile. These models could explain a portion of the deviation, but did not fully account for its measured consistency. The remaining unexplained component is still being evaluated using additional observational data and updated dynamic simulations. Because the deviation persisted across different observation instruments and geographic locations, it is considered a confirmed change rather than a measurement artifact. This shift in motion did not remain just a mathematical detail. The next observations revealed where the force may have been coming from. 
High-resolution imaging taken after the trajectory deviation was noted provided additional details about 3i Atlas's surface behavior. In these images, small concentrated jets of material were detected emerging from specific regions of the object. Instead of appearing as diffuse outgassing across the entire surface, which is common in many comets as they are warmed by solar radiation, the emissions from 3i Atlas were limited to a few localized points. Each jet maintained a relatively consistent direction and intensity over the recorded observation window. These jets were observed using a combination of optical and infrared imaging. The optical imaging showed the release of particulate matter or vapor, visible as fine streams extending away from the surface. Meanwhile, infrared data confirmed temperature variations near the emission points, indicating that the activity was concentrated rather than widespread. The locations of the jets did not appear random. They aligned with areas that had previously shown slight reflective or structural variation, though earlier observations did not record any active venting from these spots. Jets of this nature can contribute to non-gravitational acceleration by applying force as material is expelled. However, when researchers modeled the expected effect of these localized jets on the object's trajectory, the results explained only part of the measured deviation. The direction and magnitude of the jet-related force were consistent with a component of the motion shift, but not the full amount observed. This indicates that while the jets are contributing to the object's acceleration, they do not appear to account for all of it. Continued monitoring is focused on determining whether the level of jet emission remains steady, increases, or decreases over time. Understanding this will help clarify whether the motion deviation is temporary or persistent. The presence of directional and concentrated jets is significant because it differs from what was observed earlier in the object's timeline and suggests a change in its surface or internal state. This marks a clear change in behavior compared to earlier observations. So let's briefly look at what 3i Atlas was like before this point. Before the recent changes were recorded, 3i Atlas had been observed with a relatively stable photometric and motion profile. In the months following its initial detection, its brightness curve remained consistent with what would be expected from a cold interstellar object reflecting sunlight at a steady rate. There were no abrupt increases or fluctuations outside normal observational variation. The object's reflectivity and color index also suggested a surface composed of common volatile materials and dust, similar to other interstellar or long-period cometary bodies. Earlier tracking data showed that its trajectory followed the predicted gravitational path with only minor non-gravitational components, all of which could be explained using standard outgassing models. These adjustments were small and diffused, matching the behavior of objects slowly warming as they approach or move away from solar radiation. During this period, the object did not display concentrated or directional jet emissions. Any material loss detected was broadly distributed and faint, consistent with slow sublimation rather than active venting. Infrared and optical imaging from this earlier phase did not show distinct points of thermal variation or localized emission sources. Instead, the object's surface appeared largely uniform in temperature and reflectivity. This indicated that the activity level was low and stable, suggesting that the object remained in a dormant or near-dormant state as it traveled. In this earlier context, the orbital modeling was straightforward. Positional predictions matched observed coordinates within normal margins, and adjustments to the model were routine. Researchers considered 3i Atlas an example of a relatively inactive interstellar object transitioning through the solar system without unusual or irregular behavior. This prior baseline of stable brightness, predictable motion, and minimal localized activity is what now provides a meaningful comparison to the recent observations. The contrast between the earlier stable state and the later sudden changes helps define the significance of the new data. This is what makes the comparison important. When viewed individually, each of the recent observations related to 3i Atlas can be compared to known behaviors seen in other small bodies. Sudden brightness changes can occur when surface material becomes more reflective or when dust release briefly increases. Non-gravitational acceleration is common among comets due to outgassing effects. Localized jet activity has also been documented in certain cases where surface features or temperature differences create focused points of vapor release. However, what makes the current situation notable is the combination and sequence in which these features appeared. The brightness increase occurred rapidly and returned to a baseline level, rather than continuing along a gradual trend. Shortly after, the object's trajectory displayed a consistent deviation rather than a temporary or irregular shift. 
Then, high-resolution imaging identified jets that are concentrated in specific areas instead of distributed across the surface. When these observations are examined together, they indicate changes that are coordinated in timing rather than isolated events. This pattern stands apart from the behavior of many known cometary bodies, which typically show either broad, gradual increases in brightness, uneven or short-lived accelerations, or diffuse emission activity. The directional jets in particular contribute to a controlled component of non-gravitational motion, but current modeling shows that they do not fully explain the magnitude of the trajectory change. This partial correspondence suggests that additional processes may be present, although the nature of those processes is still under review. The significance of these combined observations lies in their departure from the earlier stable behavior of the object. The baseline established before the brightness event showed minimal activity and predictable motion. The shift from that baseline indicates that a change occurred in the object's surface properties, internal conditions, or exposure environment. Because the data reflects measurable changes rather than interpretive assumptions, researchers are continuing to document and compare new measurements to this evolving pattern. Which leads to the open questions researchers are focusing on now. With the new observational data documented, several key questions remain under active review. The first concerns the rapid brightness shift. Researchers are working to determine what physical process caused the intensity to rise so quickly and stabilize just as fast. Standard explanations for brightness increases involve gradual heating or the release of reflective dust, but the timing and sharp boundary of this event do not match the normal progression of those processes. Ongoing photometric monitoring is being used to identify whether similar shifts recur or if the event was isolated. The second question focuses on the nature of the directional jets. While jets are known to occur in active small bodies, they are often diffuse and irregular. In this case, the jets appear limited to specific regions and maintain consistent direction and output during observation. This raises questions about the distribution of volatile material beneath the surface, the structure of the emission points, and whether localized surface changes recently formed to allow this activity. Future imaging at different rotational angles may help determine whether these jets originate from stable vents or temporary fractures. The third question relates to the object's acceleration. Current models indicate that the jets can explain a portion of the non-gravitational motion, but not all of it. This means additional influences may be contributing to the trajectory shift, though their source has not yet been identified. Researchers are refining simulations that combine rotational dynamics, emission force vectors, and surface temperature variations to determine how much of the motion can be matched with available data. Further tracking over the coming weeks and months will allow comparison between predicted motion models and the object's actual position. All three questions remain open because the situation is still developing, and the dataset continues to grow as new observations are collected. Researchers are approaching the analysis incrementally, comparing newly recorded measurements with the previous baseline profile to identify the extent and possible cause of ongoing changes. So the focus now is continued monitoring. The recent changes observed in 3i Atlas are supported by consistent, independently verified data. The sudden brightness increase, the small but steady trajectory deviation, and the presence of localized jets mark a shift from the object's earlier stable behavior. These developments did not appear gradually, making the contrast with past observations notable. Researchers are now comparing new measurements to the previously established baseline. Earlier data showed low activity, predictable motion, and no concentrated emission points. The recent observations suggest a change occurred, though the cause and extent are not yet fully defined. Continued tracking is necessary to determine whether this reflects a temporary phase or a longer-term pattern. The main questions moving forward involve what triggered the rapid brightness shift, why the jets are directional, and how much of the motion change they account for. These questions guide current study efforts, and additional data will help refine the models. Because 3i Atlas remains observable, new measurements will continue to accumulate, making the coming weeks important for clarifying trends. For now, the most accurate position is careful observation. The upcoming data will speak for itself. If you'd like to follow how this develops, you can subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think is the most likely explanation for the changes observed so far? Your engagement helps support continued coverage of this topic. Thank you for watching, and I see you in the next video.